mother's sisters in the hood. Early in the morning, Friday, gonna go head deep. Gonna go get some bait first. It'll be a long drive out. Come to a beautiful day. Thank you a little bit. Well, I'm about through catching bait. I've got seven in there. Seven grunts. And I caught a bigger pig fish, let it go. And I don't know what this is. It's, oh, that's two grunts. Ha, ha, ha. That's good. That's nine. That'll do for now. Get on my way. Well, I'm out here. There's my buddy Robbie over there. And we've got a fella trolling over there. We're at a hundred and, we're at exactly a hundred feet right here. And I want to say congratulations to Brian Remily at the birth of their daughter. Six pounds, 12 ounces, 19 and a half inches. Congratulations, parents. And a happy birthday to Johnny Vasquez, Dylan Freelocks, Freelocks, and Ivan Chacon. Happy birthday, guys. That's a shout out for you. Some salty kayak out in the middle of the ocean with a big old turtle right there. <laughs> And there Robbie he got himself something big over there. He's fighting with him. He's already caught a 30-inch Kobe and had to throw it back because it's too short. What is it? Cuda got everything. Cuda. Ah. Oh, they're not shy. They are not shy. And they're hungry. Let's see how long that one lasts. About that long. Golly. Well, this is not my plan at all. But this is what I'm dealing with right now. <laughs> yeah. There's about. 20 of them underneath the boat, I think. I'm gonna have to move to go find an area where there's not quite so many. Oh boy. That's a pretty good size cooter right there. All right, let me see if I can get him off of here. He's wrapped. All right, if I can get this fish up, it's gonna be my first real fish to the boat. But we are loaded with barracudas here, folks. And I don't know what this is. It's on shrimp. Come on. Beat the cudas. Beat the cudas. Come on, beat the cudas. What do we got? We got a little trigger fish. Uh, I'll measure them up. I don't think 
I don't think he's going to make it 14, but he's going to be close. He's going to be close. Nope, 13 and a half. Okay. Trigger fish on the circle hook. Not bad. All right. This could be, could be a mangrove. I sure hope so. So far, the cooler is empty. I smell a skunk in the boat. This is on a sardine. If I can get it up past the kudas. What do we got? Oh, mangrove! First mangrove. Got one, finally, Robbie. I think Robbie wants to pay me any attention. Ducks out of the boat, thank you, Lord. Big old mangrove. Sardine and a circle hook. Right the side of the lip. Mangrove! Skunk is out of the boat, finally. All right, big fella. Since you want to play that game, I'll go ahead and try to measure you up. I'll go ahead and try to measure you up. If you want to play that game, up all right this mangrove is 17 and a quarter to the fork thank you Lord that's good enough mangrove snapper one of the best you can get this could very well be Grover number two Had it down there on a sardine. Down there on a sardine. If I can get him past the barracudas. Come on, come on. I kind of see him down there. So far, I don't see any cudas chasing him. Come on up here. And let's see you. Don't be a red snapper. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <sighs> uh, red snapper. Arr, arr. Can't keep him. Can't keep him over here. Can't keep him in the gulf. Can't keep him over here. Where you at, Barracudas? If I can't have him, at least you can. Okay. Let's see what this is. This could be Mr. Mr. C. Turn his GPS off. Turn that trolling motor off so I can follow him. Rabbi! Woohoo! Yeah, I saw I saw a cuda down there. Run from the cuda. Way to go! Nice big boy. Come on, be a cobia. That'd be lovely. Big shark. Yep, just a big shark. I see him down there. I can't win today.
What a waste of time. The sharks have found us. I'm gonna break it. On a blasted sardine. Uh. It's a cooter race. It's a cooter race, yep. Yeah. Woo, mangrove, way to go. Here's Robbie with about number eight mangrove, probably. Don't let the coot. Big mangrove. Hate it, don't you? There goes Brother Robbie again. Another big mang that he's probably going to lose to the cooters. Come on, Robbie, get him up. You got him up. Woo! <laughs> You flipped him in the boat! <laughs> Way to go! Ah, I can't keep him on! It's a mang! Or a red snapper! Come on! Gotta power them up past the barracudas! Power him up! Oh! I get a red snapper. There's a barracuda that's gonna eat a red snapper. A big barracuda. Gonna eat a red snapper. Dang on it! Circle hook right in the side of the lip. And going down, going down. Didn't see the bear could have get him yet. He's gone. Okay. Let's see if we can get this up past the old cooters. And I think I'm getting a bite on the other line too. Shrimp on this line. And sardine on that line. Come on, come on. Pass the cooters. Mmm. Oh, I think I might have my other line. I got my other line, but I finally got my vermilion. There we go. Whoo, nice vermilion. Nice big boy. Shrimp. Squeezed. 14, approximately 14. Thank you, Lord. Uh. All right. Back to fishing. Oh, nice mangrove. Woo! Still catching them, middle of the day. Way to go. Way to go, Rabbi. <laughs> Okay, the first fish you see there is a vermilion snapper and a red snapper. There's a trigger fish, lots of little grunts with a black tail. There's that trigger again, and vermilion snapper, and in the background there was a mangrove snapper. And up coming on the right side is a nice size red snapper, and there's a vermilion snapper. I wonder where that red snapper went. There's a vermilion snapper and one, two mangroves. One's a female, one's a male, I guess. 
looks like it's right on the hump right there of a there's a mangrove snapper another mangrove snapper and there's a uh, um, Almaco Jack just went by vermilion snapper right there or a bee liner also known as a bee liner there's that red snapper and you can see the current is is uh, moving considerably fast more bee liners big bee liners there's a mangrove uh, I think it's that same set of mangroves anyway um, what you see floating by is detritus. It's called, it's the stuff that uh, plants have sloughed off after they've bloomed and dead things that are floating up on, you know, stirred up from the bottom are floating by. Um, that's why it looks cloudy. It looks like cabbage floating by. It's called detritus and it uh, interferes with the uh, clarity of the water for sure. another little mangrove at the bottom and vermilions good sized vermilions there believe it or not it's hard to catch a grunt out there even though it looks like there's about a billion of them coming up here on the bottom of the screen looks like about a 14 inch vermilion snapper nice big fatty there's another big fatty Love them vermilions. And in the background, they're just kind of floating in the current. There's another vermilion. There's another vermilion. A triggerfish, another vermilion. Lots of vermilions out here. Lots of bee liners. And lots of mangroves. I had the cams pointing in opposite directions and this is the other cam. Vermilion. Mangrove. Grunts. Those are also called tom tape grunts. Another mangrove, another mangrove, and another mangrove, and another mangrove, and a bee liner there in the front. Now I only had these cams down for about 17 minutes all together. And all you can see there's off to the left is a stud sheep's head. It does not come into view any more than just that little hint. There's a vermilion. But anyway, I only had them down for 17 minutes and the area that you see here is you know you can see 10 feet this way and 10 feet the other way so it's a very very small area that you're viewing so can you possibly imagine over this entire reef area how many fish there must be and there's going to be some real monsters out there there's a nice dark uh, mangrove snapper there goes a uh, almaco jack and the vermilion there's an almaco we didn't catch any jacks this trip. Look at all that detritus floating by. Clouds the water up. That's kind of why it was hard for me to catch anything, I think. Even though Robbie had really good fortune. He, there's another mangrove. Almaco Jack. Anyway, Robbie caught, I think, seven or eight mangrove snappers. He was in the hunting spot, but he also lost that many to barracudas and sharks. 
that clicking sound you hear is the um, clip on top of the cams that holds the line to the cams. about that current down there man that is some strong current there on the bottom it was strong on the top and it's it's really strong there on the bottom gotta say this is one healthy reef And coming into view, Mr. Sheep's Head. Spade fish as I'm getting ready to pull the line up, pull the cams up. And it looks like we're getting ready to pull the cams up through a school of blue runners. I've slowed the uh, motion down to 50%, so it's easier to see them. And this is robbing this 18 foot cape horn with a 140 four stroke Suzuki on it. And coming up here shortly, you're going to hear my granddaughter Genevieve recite the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments. I am the Lord your God. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make yourself an idol. You shall not make wrongful use of the name of your God. Remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not murder. You should not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covenant your neighbor's house and you should not cover in your neighbor's house. 